uh, teachers now we are going to uh, illustrate the second part of uh, the videos on how to use google classroom effectively in the first part we had seen how to log in find the class how to add a student how to add another teacher if you are the class teacher and we had also seen how to assign work to the students how to create a rubric how to create a point how to fix a time uh, expected time of turn in of the assignment given in this in this video we shall focus on how to mark the assessments okay so as usual we shall log in i am the p7 class teacher i am the p7 class teacher with the ID, the password i am logging in i've logged in now i go to my google classroom similarly you will log in with your gmail and password and go to your google classroom once you have gone to google classroom you will since if you're not the class teacher you will see what is uh, what is uh, what is your class you will see your class for example if i see if i'm the math teacher i will go and see math teacher now i will see uh, i will see and the work okay this is the work okay let me go and see the work okay now you see uh, four people have been assigned this work and one person has turned in four people you can see four children ritesh ayan summa makito okay uh, makito and uh, asura natukunda you know they have been all assigned the work and one person has turned in that is this person has done the homework so what we should do we will click on this we will click on this now this person has done the homework now the now the work is visible to you you can you can uh, add a comment here you can either take a print out but uh, given the you know uh, cost of printing and all that you can just view you can expand it for your view you can see i have, i can see clearly here can you see i can see that okay 7 plus 4 11 perfect 20 correct 12 plus 3 15 correct 11 plus 5 16 number line 8 plus 4 12 okay 8 4 answer is 12 perfect 14 plus 5 9 okay correct 6 plus 4 10 5 plus 6 11 okay that student has done really well so it means it's, everything is correct unless you want to duck for mark for something out of 10 you just mark say 9.5 maybe for neatness or something yeah it is based on your rubric if you have kept some mark for the rubric and then you will add the comment uh, excellent because uh, based on what you have your rubric says on all you are mark excellent and post and post we have posted it now okay done we have posted it now so now what happens this is what marking of the work in google classroom means i hope this was useful to you uh, similarly you can go back you see you can go back here now if it was for ayan also would have done you would have clicked for ayan you could have clicked for suma or the makito and or natukunda and similarly you could have done that now you see this is 9.5 out of uh, 10 yeah okay then you will return the work okay because it's only one person you will return because uh, other people have not done so i've just clicked this one otherwise i have clicked everybody i will return the work now i am returning the work student will be notified you can see student will notify and get can check any grade you have left okay i will be able to check the student with this okay now i return the work okay after marking you come back and return the work okay the work is turned in okay you see now you have one one graded that means one person has been graded you can see one person has been graded four have been still assigned the work okay so that is the process of uh, of, of, of uh, marking in google classroom uh, you you saw how, how how it is easy it was you know it is just that you go and check who has turned in once you have seen the turned in you highlight on that look at the work which is turned in and based on your rubric make based on your marking scheme uh, you will be able to assign uh, assign uh, points or number okay out of 10 out of 100 out of 15 out of 2 like that and then you'll be able to say uh, uh, give comments to the children so it, it is it works as an alternative of marking physically i hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching it